Hello, this is a video about how to fix or reconnect with the internet after Winscribe's VPN service has expired. Now, as you can see, the issue that I have here is that the allowance has expired and now we can't get back into the internet. So essentially what happens is once the service expires, you can't amend any settings. Now here you can see it's locked on the firewall in the on position and what we need to do is put that in the off position but when you have no allowance left you can't get in and make those changes. So if I just do a quick ping test, we'll do a ping test to Google, make sure that we've actually got a connection here and as you can see all four packets are coming back. So we do have connection so it is the firewall in Winscribe that is blocking this. Now it's known as the kill switch. Really good feature. In, in normal circumstances you'd want it to do this. You'd want it to block websites if it's leaked outside of the VPN tunnel. But here the allowance has expired and let's say for whatever reason you don't want to renew the service or upgrade, how do you just continue using the internet as normal i.e. outside of the VPN tunnel protection. So here you can see the network status is we haven't got any internet connection here. So we know physically that there is a connection so somehow the adapter needs to change. Now I did contact Winscribe and their support either don't seem to be aware of the issue or don't think it's uh, an issue to look into because they just simply responded and saying it's not how it works once it's expired it should just allow you to use your internet as normal. Now I've researched the internet other forums do report that this is happening um, doesn't appear to happen on every system and in every operating system so you know it's something that may not affect everyone but it does uh, affect enough people to cause a problem. So I'm going to show you the fix here and basically we need to just change the adapter settings. Now let's go into the adapter settings and here you can see the Winscribe VPN and it's got a, a cross. So let's disable that. And we'll enable our main network. So this is the Ethernet cable that I've got plugged into the system. Now Winscribe uses its own DNS servers. In this case this is a manual option so you won't see this but I'm just going to put in um, Cloudfares DNS server so that's 11111001 save that. We'll go back in and check everything and now we're connected. So two things that we need to check. Main one which is changing the adapter so disabling Winscribe's adapter as you saw earlier in the video and enabling your normal adapter and if that hasn't worked alone then you just need to double check the DNS settings are correct and add in Cloudfares or another providers of your choosing. And as you can see we're now connected back onto the internet although we haven't got the security offered by the VPN tunnel we are now connected so if you have expired your allowance with Winscribe and you don't want to upgrade and you can't wait until your next month's allowance then this is what you need to check to get back online